Puerto Rico needs a lot of money. I'm going to Puerto Rico on Tuesday. Scheduled trip. Good. It's the earliest I can uh, go because of the uh, first responders, and we don't want to uh, disrupt the relief efforts. Uh, you know, we're, we're going through a lot. Uh, the mayor of San Juan was very generous and very nice this morning, was thanking us for the great job we've done with FEMA that uh, we really have. We've worked very, very hard in Puerto Rico. It's very tough because it's an island. In Texas, we can ship the trucks right out there, and, you know, we can do we've, — we've gotten A-pluses on Texas and on Florida, and uh, we will also on Puerto Rico. But the difference is this is an island sitting in the middle of an ocean, and it's a big ocean. It's a very big ocean. And uh, it, we're, we're doing a really good job. I want to uh, — uh, I want to go there. First, Tuesday seems to be the first time we can do without really disrupting first responders and the efforts that are being made to help people. Uh, we have shipped massive amounts of food and water and supplies to Puerto Rico, and we are continuing to do it on an hourly basis. Puerto Rico is very important to me, and Puerto Rico, the people are uh, fantastic people. I grew up in New York, so I know many people from Puerto Rico. I know many Puerto Ricans, and uh, these are great people. And we have to help them. Uh, the island is devastated. It's uh, — I mean, some people say I, — I read this morning, it's literally destroyed. The infrastructure was in bad shape, as you know, in Puerto Rico before the storm. And now, in many cases, it has no infrastructure. So it's — you're really starting from almost scratch.